to the employee experiences of reward systems and work performance in undesirable location session. I will now turn it over to our presenter. Good morning. My name is Dr. Valentine You can do. I will be discussing my completed study titled Employee Experiences of Reward Systems and Work Performance in Undesirable Locations. I will be discussing the background. This research focuses on the perceptions and attitudes among veterans and non-veterans that work in organizations near a military installation in the United, Southern United States. The war systems influence employee productivity and organizational performance. It is imperative to understand the effects reward systems have on work performance. This can help improve how a particular workplace ensures high productivity, profitability, and sustainability. This background review and problem statement involve linking the reward system to work performance. Also, this study addressed the purpose of this of the research, why the problem should be addressed, and the significance of outcomes to different stakeholders. Proceeding this were the research questions. In this study, the theoretical and conceptual frameworks that guided the investigation were managed. The conceptual framework included Victor view rooms expectancy theory and the leader member exchange theory. The study had definitions of critical terms. The researcher also had assumptions, the scope and the limitations, limitations and significance of the research. The research design was aligned with the imperative research approach that offers methods for research to explore real life human experiences. The imperative, the interpretive worldview is focused on employees describing their experiences. The reward systems and work performance through subjective storytelling. The researcher interpreted and translated the employees' lived experiences, but relied heavily on the employees' views of their work environment and how the reward systems motivated them to increase their work performance, leading to increased organizational productivity. The choice of the research design was necessitated by personal experiences of the research participants in relation to the reward systems. The phenomenological Data analysis was conducted using the inductive research design. This led to the random emergence of teams. In this study, the data measured were, was employees' experiences involving reward systems and work performance in undesirable locations. Problem statement. This study addressed that organizational leadership in undesirable locations in the southern US did not leverage employee reward systems to improve work performance. The impact of reward systems in the public sector is less understood than in the private sector. Many organizations face challenges involving employee retention due to lack of appropriate incentives, rewards, and, motivating, and motivation. Asibog and Humbug 2020 argue that the lack of appropriate reward systems in the public sector led to reduce employee retention. According to the article, a survey report shows 60% of college graduates in the United States prefer working in private industry over civil service. Employees are motivated to increase their performance when reward systems meet their needs and expectations. The lack of strategic reward systems leads to organizational goals that are less likely to be achieved. This prohibits the abundance of better opportunities that results in understaffing. Rewards offered in the public sector are detected by policymakers and often lack substantial input from the work from the workforce in terms of their formulation. The military is essential in most countries. The US military is considered the largest of the world due to, largest in the world due to its power. Despite this, there are shortcomings involving the management of human resources in the military. There is a lack of clear understanding of how military personnel is rewarded. Enlisting the US military requires a time contractual obligation during which period the enlisted does not opt out of the military service, but feels imprisoned and only works towards completing the contract for uh, term. The individual recruits strives to maintain good uh, outward composure while waiting for the end of the contractual obligation. The enlisted declines to renew or extend the contract terms regardless of the incentives presented. 
This makes it hard to recruit and retain a highly skilled labor force to fill critical positions, especially in the rural areas. The general problem is that there is disparate treatment in the way employees that work near military installations in Southern US are rewarded. There is not enough incentive to attract and retain experienced employees in undes undesirable locations. Just a note, this uh, currently the US military is struggling to meet its uh, uh, re retention or recruitment uh, obligations. The consequence is that employees recruited locally seek for more desirable cities as soon as they gain enough experience to compete with their peers. Additional ramifications include overworked employees and lack of and a lack of oversight of government projects. Purpose, still on the same slide. This phenomenological research explored veterans and non-veterans lived experiences involving reward systems in productivity and in employee performance in a remote and undesirable location. The study aimed to research how the employee reward systems administered by the US government influenced the performance of the government employees working in organizations near a military installation in Southern US. Those rewards are viral in terms of improving organizational performance. MIG 2016 argued that towards rewards are instru instrumental in developing motivation within organizations and increasing organizations' potentials to retain talented workers that contribute to sustained improvements in organizational performance. The research established that rewards are most influential to veterans and non veterans who work near military installation in southern US. Significance of the study. Significance to practice. We are still on the same slide, please. Managers and leaders acknowledge reward systems within organizations as key for motivating workers. Rewards are often used in the process of enticing and retaining skilled workforce. Furthermore, it is expensive and time consuming to recruit and hire new workers. Most businesses require low turnover. Ensuring productivity in the workplace ensures that companies maintain consistency in terms of performance and confidence development between customers and stakeholders. Reward systems offer the most effective means for leaders in organizations to communicate to employees what they deem necessary and important. This allows organizations to focus on strategic objectives and prioritizes and prioritize work for by offering rewards for accomplishments. Insights in this study highlight changes in the structuring and implementation of the reward systems required to promote efficiency in employee work performance regarding how reward systems are used in organizations near military installations in Southern US. Significance to theory, employees are the most critical assets in an organization. Many organizations across different industries are operating in competitive and dynamic business environments. Technological innovations, economic growth, and globalization are factors that led to increased competition in the labor market. Therefore, organizations in public and private sectors in the Southern US compete for highly skilled employees because their work performance is difficult to be replicated by competitors. Accomplishments made by organizations are based on the capacity of management to manage, to develop motivating work environments that guarantee employee productivity. Sorry about that. Significant to your employees are the most critical assets in the organization. Many organizations across different industries are operating in competitive and dynamic business environments. Accomplishments made by organizations are based on the capacity of management to develop motivating work environment that guarantee employee productivity and organizational performance. A motivated workforce is central, co central to creating competitive advantages via experiences and knowledge that rivals cannot replicate. Scholars argue that a motivated workforce is more productive and happier leading to employee loyalty. The longer an employee works in an organization, the more corporate knowledge the employee possesses. Thus, the workforce is a priceless asset to an organization. Subsequently, findings in this research offered insights that can be employed to develop a theoretical perspective that increases 
efficiency in terms of how reward systems are used in organizations, significance to social change. Results of this study will inform senior management on the urgent need to review its leadership, leader subordinate professional relationship with the goal of creating organizational culture where all employees are treated fairly with respect and dignity. This approach will improve working environment and motivation to increase work performance. Also, there will be lots of improvement on the treatment of workers by leaders. An improvement in the treatment of subordinates by leaders will lead to reductions in our employee turnover, legal processes, and alternative dispute, dispute resolutions. Finance can facilitate the effective adoption of reward systems that balance employee social work life. Additionally, leaders can identify rewards that are most important to workers, leading to employee commitment to organizational objectives and personal goals. Findings also in, involve incentives for workers in undesirable workplaces. This is imperative to stress the relevance of good working conditions that include safe environments and health care services, contributing to quality work experiences. Theory or framework. We're still on the same slide. In this study, two theoretical foundations were used to investigate veterans and non veterans experiences with the reward systems and work performance in undesirable locations in southern US. The theories are the Victor Virum's uh, expectancy theory, 1964, and leader member exchange LMS theory by Don Sorio, Graham, and Heger. Expectancy theory deals with the value of rewards offered and the chances of receiving the rewards influ influence the effort made in a specific situation. The LMS theory deals with the relationship that exists between leaders and their subordinates. The expectancy theory is premised on four critical assumptions that were presented by Virum. The first assumption is that individuals work in organizations with a set expectations about their needs, motivations, and previous experiences. Secondly, there is the assumption of how people behave because of their conscious choices. Drawing from these assumptions, the expectancy theory is comprised of three key elements, expectancy, instrumentality, and violence. Expectancy occurs when an employee expects to receive a compensation at the successful completion of an assigned task. The organization's reward to the employee is the instrumentality, while the substantial positive reward is the balance. V-room expectation theory influences motivation premised on the following equation. Motivation is equal to expectancy times instrumentality times balance. Leader member exchange theory, the LMS highlights this poten that potential difference by taking leadership in them as a construct of different di dyadic relationships that link the leader to the followers. Reviews by Lord et al. 2017 present a consensus that the LMS is premised on the ability of leaders within an organization to develop effective communication that leads to healthy relationship designed to meet organizational objectives. At this time, it's not on the slide, but I would like to highlight the method design. The general objective of this study was to investigate how employee reward systems impact employee work performance and organizational productivity. To achieve this, research required reviewing the experiences of employees who work in organizations near a military installation in the southern US through data gathering and analysis. This included describing the interpretivism research philosophy and inductive research design. Quality, purposeful, convenient sampling method was used to identify the sampling technique, data collection, recruitment of participants, and data analysis. Data were gathered via interviews, which was appropriate for a sample size of 20 participants. Thematic data analysis on employee reward systems was conducted to highlight critical experiences among employees who work in organizations near a military installation in the southern US. This was followed by addressing trustworthiness and ethical considerations. Next slide, please. Relevant scholarship literature review. The literature review focused on various factors associated with the reward systems used in organizations. 
The review drew from multiple studies to offer an in-depth account of how rewards are managed, the reward system, types of incentives, and the factors that impact the systems. The literature review focused on drawing insights from real life situations. This was achieved through gathering of primary data from respondents working in various work settings and from different professional experiences near a military installation in Southern US. Literature search strategy. This study used the following academic databases via Warden University Library, ProQuest Central, Google Scholar, ABI slash Inform Collection, Academic Search Complete, APA Site Articles, Toro Multi Database Search, Eric and Education Source Combined Search, Business Source Complete, Eric, ProQuest Dissertations and Thesis Global, CQ Researcher, Sage Journal, Science Direct, Ibisco, Sage Knowledge, APA Style Citation, Warden University Center for Research Quality, Warden University Writing Center, Warden University Publications, Journals and Articles, Identifying Key Concepts and Terms, Selecting Relevant Databases, and Reviewing and Refining Research Results. Identifying Key Concepts Use The key terms used in this study were reward systems, reward management, organizational performance, leadership and rewards, expectancy theory, LMS theory, and employee productivity. According to Kuswari 2019, rewards lead to a motivated workforce, which increases performance. According to Riasat et al. 2016, both intrinsic and extrinsic rewards are important. According to Lloyd and Martin 2018, various factors impact the outcome of reward systems. According to Spicer, Cover 2019, conditions of the workplace environment influence the design of the reward systems. Next, next slide, please. Research question. The study aimed at investigating the impact of reward systems on work performance. This was achieved by focusing on the following research questions. Men, Main research question is, what are employees' lived experiences who engage in the reward systems and work performance in undesirable locations? Subsection, sub question one, how do intrinsic benefits offered, offered via reward systems contribute to organizational performance in undesirable locations? Subsection question two, how do extrinsic benefits offered via reward systems contribute to organizational performance in undesirable locations? Uh, locations. I will have to highlight this. It's not on the slide. The research setting. The setting had two warmer retail stores, a medical facility, restaurants, and gas stations. People in the area included active duty military personnel, veterans, and non veterans. The participants sampled in the study worked in different organizations near a military installation in the southern US. The participants possessed lived experiences working in remote locations. Most participants of this study were not native of the region. Additionally, some of the participants had worked in other parts of the world, such as military war zones in support of US military campaigns. The participants who worked outside the US experienced substantial challenges compared to the opportunities and challenges experienced by the employees in the location of the study. Also, the participants included employees of different age groups, gender, economic, educational, professional backgrounds, and race. The participants included white Caucasians, African Americans, Cubans, Mexicans, and Asian Americans. The research population was comprised of physicians, nurses, retail clerks, stockers, military colonels, military sergeants, and uh, military recruits. That, uh, that, that is a uh, freshman in the military. Demographics, it's not on the slide, but I'll cover it. The researcher addressed demographic differences by engaging respondents to ensure that findings reflect, reflected in their general uh, perspectives, the type of organization where the participants work, current occupational positions, ethnic background, gender, age and experience in the workplace were most important in the context of a diverse workforce. Each of these factors 
was considered to have an impact on the lived experiences and the perceptions individuals hold in meeting organizational objectives concerning the, reward, the rewards offered. It's not on the slide, but I have, um, I have to present to you um, four tables. Table one describes the demographics of research participants. Table two describes the demographics of research participants in the focus group. Table three is a summary of participants in the in-depth, that is face-to-face -face interviews. Table four is the summary of focus group meetings. Procedures is not on the slide, but I'm covering it as part of my study. Through purposeful sampling, research participants from different organizations that included the military, retailing, and healthcare were identified. Based on personal links between the researcher and the individuals, the potential participants were contacted and requested to participate in the investigation. The recruitment of these participants was carried out two, in two strategic ways. The first approach to recruit the participant was through a meet and greet process that facilitated the distribution of flyers to potential participants. This was accomplished by visiting the research setting and distributing flyers to people on, on public uh, streets. This was a more straightforward approach with limited events being carried out after new health regulations were put in place to combat the coronavirus pandemic. With the knowledge that many people in the region had a military background or had family and friends in the military, there was a high possibility that the flyers would facilitate reaching out to the right respondents in the research. The leaflets contained the researcher's email address and phone number, which established communication for those willing to contribute to the study. Distributing the flyers included engaging the potential participants in a chart that highlighted the importance of the study and a request to share the information on the flyer with friends and family. This was important to ensure that the potential respondents were purposefully selected due to their experience and knowledge that added valuable information to the study. In the alternative for increasing the number of participants in the in the research, this study used Survey Monkey to recruit respondents. The research commenced with approval from the IRUB, Institutional Review Board, as presented in Appendix A of, of the, my study. The IRUB reviewed and provided the ethical justification for this research. The IRUB number assigned to this research is 0104, excuse me, 04-23-21 dash 0041194. This number expired on 22 April of 2022 and the student graduated in February of 2022. Also, this number is referenced in this document and inserted to on the PANSET forms. Additionally, the IRUB number will be referenced in future research fundings or publication submissions. Participants, sample size. We're still on, sli uh, on slide three. The target population was com comprised of veterans and non-veterans working in organizational organizations near a military installation in Southern US. The respondents were identified and selected through convenience sampling. The participants were engaged in in-depth interview and focus group discussions. The sample size was 20, 10 participants for the interview and 10 participants for the focus group. The focus group was broken into two uh, groups of five. To encourage participation, the researcher promised a $20 Amazon uh, gift card to the respondents. All participants were above 18 years of age with the youngest being 19 years and the oldest 44 years with an average, with an average of 8.7 years of experience. The researcher communicated with the participants via telephone and email. The consent forms were returned by the 
responders prior to the interview and discussion sections. Appendix D and E presents the consent forms used for the in-depth interviews and focus group respectively. And this appendix D and E is found on the study report. The interviews were conducted once with once with the with the 10 research participants, so why the focus group meetings were conducted twice with groups of five people. The interviews took between 15 and 25 minutes, why the focus group meetings took about 40 to 60 minutes. The interview and discussions were carried out through phone calls where the respondents called into an established toll-free number at an appointed date and time. Instrumentation. For this, for this study, the methods used in the in data collection were in-depth interviews and focus group discussions via phone. The in-depth interviews were implemented using an open-ended questionnaire. The focus group discussion served to engage individuals in discussions that fostered a clear understanding of the issues under investigation. The focus group discussions offered an alternative way of collecting data from a group perspective compared to the interviews that might present bias insights due to personal interest. The interview questions were also used as a guideline for a systematic approach in data collection. See the final interview questions, appendices F and G of the report. Additionally, the researcher engaged as a moderator in the discussion to ensure that the issues discussed were solely reflected the experiences of the participants. Using the two methods facilitated the collection of credible and reliable data that guarantees the value of the study. Inclusion exclusion of criteria for the participants. The participants were DOD, civilian employees, veterans and non-veterans. Participation, 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 excuse me, logic is the, the convenience sampling approach is also known as opportunity opportunity sampling, it is a sampling technique where the research draws the research sample from part, part of the population that is close to hand, convenient, or readily available. Data collection technique, data, was, data used in this study were primary and secondary data. I would, like, I would have loved to uh, discuss the data analysis plan, but because of time constraint, I, am not, I will bypass that. It's not on the slide anywhere. This study ensured that reliability was achieved by employing the following criteria, credibility, prolonged engagement with participants, persistent observation, triangulation, member checking, transferability, dependability, and conformability, ethical consideration. In applying ethical considerations, the study upheld all the binding moral principles and values to achieve and maintain integrity throughout the research. We are now on data analysis portion of the slide. This research I aimed at investigating the impact of reward systems on work performance. This was achieved by focusing on the research questions that were mentioned earlier. The information about the research setting, including the location of this research and how it impacted issues and under investigation from this study. This was important to understand the impact of work environment on the nature of work and how employees engage with their responsibilities. This study highlighted important participants' characteristics such as experiences, engagement, and how the participants engage with the work environment and completed their assigned tasks. In this study, the data collected from the participants through an in-depth interviews and focus group discussions was analyzed. The results included a comprehensive account of teams emerging from research to address the research questions and objectives based on raw data obtained from the in-depth interviews, focus group discussions, and literature reviews. This study was conducted in organizations near a military installation in the Southern US. We are veterans and non-veterans work. The research participants were also substantially diverse in terms of age, level of education, social status, race, ethnicity, industry, gender, religious, and cultural backgrounds, and years of experience. The study also included participants from different nationalities, experience from different industries and job descriptions. 
The military installation near the study setting was comprised of active duty military personnel and their families, DOD civilian employees and their dependents, and defense contractor employees and their families. The contractor employees augment the military by performing the non inherently governmental contracted services, such as base, medical, grant, and air support services. The setting had two Walmart retail stores. People in the area included active duty military personnel, veterans and non-veterans. Employees sampled in the study were veterans and non-veterans working in different sections around a military installation in the Southern US who have had a lived experiences uh, working in remote or rural areas. Study findings. This research intended to investigate the impact of rewards of employee reward systems on employee work performance. The study found that various factors impacted how reward systems influence employee work performance in different work conditions. The study established that rewards are embedded in organizational strategies, making them an essential factor to consider in how employees are influenced in various work settings. There is, a, there is not a standardized approach to how reward systems are implemented in organizations. There is a value associated with the impact of the reward and the perceptions that exist among employees. Drawing from the respondents, they were influenced by different factors to engage in a particular work environment. These factors can be internal or external. Internal factors, leadership, organizational objectives, reward systems, skills and knowledge with the organization. External factors are interpersonal factors, economic factors, social factors, negative impacts of monetary incentives. Interpretation of the findings. The research established that reward systems are important aspects of workforce productivity. Different organizations have varying approaches to in developing and designing reward systems. This can be attributed to the differences experienced in organization structures and culture, coupled with the diversity that exists among employees. The findings presented in this section are premised on the Integration of the expectancy and um, LMS, uh, that's leader member exchange theories. The theories stated that leaders in an organization exhibit varying uh, behaviors and actions toward different subordinates. This leads to the categorization of employees in the context of in groups and out groups based on the relationship the leaders establish with the employees. The expectancy theory is premised on the notion that individuals are appropriately rewarded for the contribution they make to the organization. The compensation can be intrinsic, extrinsic, or a combination of both. Limitation of the study. The study was accomplished through a qualitative approach that could that involved the use of primary and secondary studies, the uh, data. The secondary sources are literature re review sources, which are critical in informing previous studies. Recommendation for future research. The insights emerging from this research were limited, which highlighted the need for future research. There is a need to conduct a quantitative study that can offer empirical evidence that the issues addressed by this research. Further investigation should be directed at the specific environmental factors that influence the ability of employees to engage in the, work, in the workplace concerning the reward systems. Recommendations. And as we still on uh, slide five, this research drew from the personal experiences of veterans and non-veterans who worked in undesirable locations in the US. These insights offered a, comp a comparison that highlights the role rewards systems have in, in motivating individuals who experience challenges that impact their perception of the workplace and their intention to remain employed in the organization. The research found that the, her the hierarchical structure of the military coupled with the strict policies and codes, limits employees a contribution to the reward systems and other incentive packages in the workplace. The military should develop a reliable promotion policy that offers equal opportunities for its personnel seeking advancement. Promotions transcend to higher pay, which motivates the employees to increase their performance and commitment to the organization. The military can improve its compensation system as this provides additional incentive that increase employee performance. A well-formulated payment system adequately considers the risk associated with the employee job desc uh, description. An incentive that commensurate level of effort produces increased work performance in the organization and organizational earnings. 
social change implications. Each enhancing work performance in organization, in organization requires focusing on employees' needs and strategic measures that are designed to engage the workforce in meeting the organizational uh, objectives. This is an empowering aspect that contributes to how individuals engage in meeting the self objectives. Non monetary rewards are effective in empowering and influencing individuals to focus on organizational objectives. Employees who are engaged with an organizational leadership tend to emulate them. This likely results in future leadership adopting door open door policies with other members of the team. Reward systems offer organizations an opportunity to increase employee engagement and guarantee that all stakeholders are working on the organizational goals with improved operational efficiency. The societal implication of this research were linked to how organizations and government agencies take fail to take advantage of the talent, skills, and knowledge available among the people in society. Yeah, there is little focus on creativity, innovation, risk taking, entrepreneurship, and other aspects that can promote increased performance in civilian companies. Stakeholder communication. Although there was no partnership agreement with any organization, added this verbiage. If changes are needed on your research staff or procedures, you must obtain IRB approved requests for change in procedures uh, form. Ethical consideration, the research focused on dealing with human uh, subjects and corporate organizations. The diversity of the subjects must be respected for the research process to gather viable or uh, suitable data. Ethical considerations are imperative when conducting such a study. Resultantly, the study upheld all imperative moral principles and values to achieve and maintain integrity throughout the research. This included obtaining the concept of participation from the organizations and participants in the research before commencing data collection. In this regard, the respondents were explained the purpose and nature of the investigation. The data collection was done on, re on the respondents' communication preferred platform, which was a via, via phone. The entire research process guaranteed the privacy and confidentiality of participants and to some extent, the organizations involved. Keeping the participants anonymous was imperative to protect the participants from any consequences from the organizational or legal proceedings. The data gathered was password protected and placed under lock and key. Also, the raw data will be reviewed to, a third part, to third parties with the participants' consent. The ethical considerations are premised on the recommendation offered in the Behrman report. Conclusion. There are the research, this research was focused on investigating the impact of reward system on employee work performance. The reward systems have an imperative role in fostering as, uh, sources by keeping the workforce motivated. The research was premised on the expectancy theory, highlighting that people engage in certain actions with expectation for a reward. The study was conducted qualitative, qualitatively, rather, based on the interpretive interpretive uh, research paradigm. In this context, the research employed unstructured interviews and focus group meetings among workers in the military, retail and healthcare industry among professionals near a military installation in the Southern US. The research participants were proposed fully sampled to ensure that the responses offered effectively address the research objectives and questions. A thematic analysis was conducted to highlight the insights emerging from the research. Drawing from the research findings, the study established that the reward system in the organization suffering in the survey played, plays an important uh, imperative role in advancing employ employee work performance. The study found a converging aspect of how workers perceive rewards and how employers offer in incentives. This, in this context, the cultural elements that influence the kind of reward systems used in organizations have little impact on individual employees. In contrast, organizations with, the, with high employee diversity utilize a combination of intrinsic and extrinsic rewards to foster increased employee performance. Final remarks. Keep the workforce motivated. Effective reward system equal competitive, uh, uh, competitive age, high productivity, profitability, and sustainability. Motivation equals Expectation multiplied by instrumentality, multiplied by balance. Acknowledgement. Thank you, family and friends, for attending. Thank you, Warden University faculty and staff, for all 
he had dedicated support you made available to me during my doctoral journey at Warden. Special thanks to my chair, Dr. David Bovin, and second committee member, Dr. Masia, Dr. Masia um, Steinhauer, for taking the time to schedule and attend my past and present presentations. Thank you for impacting me with your knowledge through the exceptional support, mentoring, and guidance you accorded me over the months and years at Warden. Thank you, Dr. Sandy Kober, for the second chance you gave me on my doctoral journey. May God bless you and yours always. At this time, I will, I will accept her questions and recommendations. Thank you so much. Here are Thank a you. list of his preferences, and we have time for just one question really quickly. That question is, what are the possible multicultural implications of your study regarding contribution to positive social change? Well, the motto, um, thank you. That was a good question. I appreciate that. Um, I will do my best to answer. It will be a long answer, but because of time constraints, I'm not going to give you a, a lengthy answer. So the short answer is this. Multicultural, in, in modern world, uh, globalization, meet people and immigration, people relocate. So you have large organizations such as Walmart, even the military, you have people from the, uh, various backgrounds. So uh, leadership is required. That's what this study is recommending that people in you know, a consideration be given to the diversity at workplace, instead of creating a one size fit it all, uh, you know, uh, reward system. Some people, like some people from America here, we from America, some, we, we appreciate our time. We like to go on vacation. People from other parts of the world, like my national origin is Nigeria. Some people come, they want to pay their bill. They want to make that money. So they, don't, they can care. They, they don't really re, you know, have, regard so much for, uh, the uh, time off. They want to work. So what do you do, leadership? You have to understand your employees individually, what made them tick, you know, by knowing who they are, their family, their background in a positive way. That way, when you are designing uh, the reward system, consideration will be given to the diverse background of uh, employees in an organization. That will make everybody happy. That will make everybody wanna come to a place to work, you know, like people spend about eight hours, 10 hours a day at work. Then also you have to accommodate, you know, you have to make sure there is uh, the work environment, you provide that leadership support by creating a conducive work environment. That is what diverse, diversity brings to the workplace. So every leader, leadership, it has to be trained or has to know how to deal with variety of people with, you know, coming from having different um, objectives by creating you know, different uh, incentives. Uh, post uh, COVID, a lot of people wanna work uh, remotely. Some people wanna go into the office. That has to do with the diverse background as well. So we, because of time, I will leave it at that. I hope I try. I answered your question well. If not, you can contact me on the side. Um, ask the uh, moderator to give you my uh, email or phone number. Then I can discuss further. Or you what? can make a or you can make a reference uh, uh, to my public uh, published uh, uh, study, which is titled uh, "Employee Experiences of Reward Systems and Work Performance in Undesirable Locations." It is published uh, in ProQuest. Or you can type in my name and you can pull it up. First name and first name. That's Valentine. You can do you can you can do spread U K A N D. That's uniform kilo alpha November delta uniform. Thank you. What a wonderful presentation. We appreciate you for sharing with us and sharing your experience with us.